Webmania. Hello viewers, welcome to Webmania Bootstrap 3 15th tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn Bootstrap table classes. In this tutorial, we will learn styling the table using Bootstrap classes. So here is the table for bootstrap classes used in the table styling. These are the classes and these are their used. The first class is table class. In bootstrap table classes, the table class is used for basic styling of the table. The next one is table bordered. Table bordered class is used to apply borders in the table cells. The next one is table hover class. Table hover class is used to highlight the row. Table strip class. Table strip class is used to strip the table. It turns the table into Zabra's form. The table condensed class. Table condensed class is used to compress the whole table. Then we apply this class on our table. Our table cells and padding is reduced. The next one is table responsive. Table responsive class is used to make the table responsive. So let's start with the table class example. We will discuss all these classes in detail. So let's start with the table class example. Let's go to our editor to do some practical work. So here is our editor and notice inside container we have a row class and inside row class we have a table element. Inside the table element, we have some table headings and inside and next to them, we have some table data rows. So this is our table. At the moment, we don't apply any table class to our code. So let's view this in browser and look how it look like without applying any class of bootstrap. Let's go to our browser. So here is our browser. Currently, it looked blank. When we reload the page, we got the table. Here you see, we apply nothing. We apply don't we, we apply don't any class to our boards to our table code. So it looked like this. So let's back to our editor and apply a simple table class and see what happened to this table then. So let's go back to our editor. It's our editor and we simple have to apply the table class in table element. We apply the class of table. Let's save this and let's now check it in our browser how it look like. So here is our browser and when I reload the page you can see the difference. Here we apply just only one class of table and you see the table looks pretty. And also we get light padding and horizontal lines if you notice there is no border inside the table or inside the columns so let's create the border first for doing this we simple have to apply the class of table border so let's go back to our editor so our editor and now we want the border of table so we have to use the class of here table border. Let's save this. Let's view this in our browser and see how it look like now. So it's our browser. At the moment, we don't have any border. So let's reload this page. Here, when I reload the page, you can notice here we got the borders inside the tables and become columns, cells. Here you can see. Here, when we use table bordered class, our table look like this. Let's use the table hover class to our table. Let's go back to our editor and use the table hover class. So our editor, and now I'm going to use the class of table hover. So here we use table hover class. Let's go to our browser and see how it look like. So here is our table and notice when I hover the mouse on the rows, 
nothing happened here you see I hover the mouse on this 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 nothing happened and when we reload the page and now when I hover the mouse on a specific row the row become highlighted so let's do it and here you see when I hover on serial number 4 row the row is highlighted similar with 3 it's highlighted 2 it's highlighted 1 highlighted so it's the function of table hover class so when we use table hover class on our table the table look like this here is example here is the layout let's use the table striped class to our table so when we use the table striped class our table look like this notice the table rows are now zebra stripped here you see first row is highlighted the next one is blank and then the other is highlighted then next blank and then the other is highlighted so let's go back to our editor and do it here is the browser and now i'm going to remove the class of table hover to clearly see the view of table stripe class and now i'm using here table stripe class let's save this let's view this in our browser here is our browser and when we reload the page we got zebra's stripped here you can see we achieved the layout it's our first row is highlighted second is blank so it is highlighted then blank and then the sequence is carrying on now let's use the table condensed class to our table when we use table condensed class to our table, the, our table look like this. This is our table layout when we use table condensed class. Here you can see our table is now compressed, padding and columns, padding and cells are reduced. So let's go back to our editor and do it. This is our editor and now I'm going to remove the class of table shift and here I use the class of table condensed. Let's save this. Let's go back to our browser and see how it look like when we apply the class of table condensed. Here is our browser and you see the size of padding and columns. And when I reload the page, you can see the size of table is compressed. Here you can see it looks smaller than the original table size by using the class of table condensed. Let's now discuss how to make our table responsive. So it's our table and now we have only four headings here with name, age, gender and serial number. Let's add one or two more headings to this to check our table is responsive or not. Let's go back to our editor and add one or two columns to this. It's our editor and now I'm going to add the heading of address. So here I write below gender address. And here I also add the address in table row. I don't know my address. Copy. Copy the entire and paste it to other similar to this one let's save the table and now let's view in browser this is our browser and when we reload the page here you here you see we got another column of address so let's resize this table and check if it's responsive or not so when i resize this here you can see when i resize the table to extra small device notice the text in address column wrap on to the new line 
and as a result the column width is reduced now we only have four columns if we have a lot of columns and if all start wrapping on new line the column width becomes smaller and smaller and as a result it's become difficult to read that data to avoid this query we use the table responsive class so let's go back to our editor and make our table responsive so there is our editor and if you want to use the table responsive class we use this class place table element inside the another div element we have to place the table element inside another div element so let's create a div element so here we create a div element cut it from here and paste below the table here i paste it and when i paste and here i'm using the class of table responsive so let's save it and let's go to our browser and see how it look like now so here is our table and now we apply the class of table responsive let's resize this and when we resize this notice the text is not wrapping onto the new line and we have a scroll bar at the bottom to move the table around here you see and now our table become responsive and it's not allow the text to wrap on new lines now we will learn about the classes used to color the table rows and columns in bootstrap so here is the table of these classes used to styling the table rows and columns so these are these classes which we use in table rows and columns danger info warning primary and active so let's go to our editor and apply them practically here is our editor and in table row i'm going to use the class of table danger here i'm use the class of table danger let's save this and let's view in browser see how it look like so browser and when we reload the page you can see the top row is now is in danger style here so let's apply the style to all these rows let's go back to our editor the editor and now i'm applying the styling classes to other elements so here i'm use the class of info to other element i'm going to use the class of warning info warning and here i'm going to use the class of primary primary and in last i'm going to use the class of active so let's save this and view in browser how it look like here is our browser and when we reload the page we got all the rows tied here you can see here you see our all the table rows and columns are now styled so in our next video tutorial we will learn about bootstrap button classes thank you for listening stay tuned have a good day